I want to touch on suicide prevention. Every person on our Air Force team is a valuable member. Whether you are a guard or active duty, a civilian, contractor, or family member, each of you contributes to the success of our mission. To lose a team member hurts us, and especially if it is due to a preven preventable tragedy such as suicide. Suicide is the second leading cause of death in the Air Force after deaths due to accidents. Preventing suicide depends on the efforts of our collective community across the board. It relies on our wingman culture of caring for people. There are usually warning signs prior to a suicide if one pays attention. Depression, sudden change in behavior, anxiety, preoccupation with death and dying, anger and irritability, isolation and social withdrawal, as well as others. To those who may have thought of harming yourself, know that there is help for whatever may be troubling you. Reach out and talk with a family member or a friend, a peer or a supervisor, our chaplain or DPH. Seek support that can help you make your life worth living. There are many resources open to you that you may not be aware of at the wing and in the larger community. For those of us who may see someone in personal hardship, don't wait for their situation to get worse. Reach out, lend an ear, and ace. Ask, care, and escort. I expect everyone in leadership to be helpful as someone reaches out to you. Encourage early help seeking. Don't judge, but leverage your resources to help create a good outcome. By working together, we can ensure that everyone who is part of the 117th will thrive. In closing, I'd like to tell you about a free app that is designed specifically for ANG members and their families. Ready54 promotes resiliency for the whole family, identifies care providers, and features articles and videos. Check it out.